Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to teach you how to download Forge for Minecraft 1.19.3, the easiest way I know. So by the end of this video, you should have mods in Minecraft. Let's get started. Now guys, installing Forge is actually really, really easy and it shouldn't be hard. So that's why I'm going to teach you how to do it the best way possible. Go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to our written guide on how to download and install Forge for Minecraft. Now, we are not going to read on this tutorial, but if you want to read and you want to look at a screenshot, feel free to do so. Just read through the guide and follow along. But in this video, we're going to do it here on the video. So what you want to do once you're on this link is click download Forge here. That is going to redirect you to the official Forge website. And I know it says download latest. Do not click there because if you click there, it's just going to download 1.19 as you see on top and you actually want 1.19.3. So what we're going to do is look on the left right here. As you can see, there's 1.19.3. Go ahead and click on it. And now we're finally going to click on download latest where it says installer. Go ahead and click on it because as you can see, we have 1.19.3 selected go ahead and click install it now once you're over here after five seconds you're going to see this button label as a skip appear on the top right go ahead and click on it and that is going to redirect you actually that is going to start the download by itself as you can see for me it's asking me where i want to save it but for you it's just going to download automatically here on the bottom left as you can see on my chrome browser let me go ahead and throw that into the desktop so that's what you want to do too actually go ahead and drag and drop this file into the desktop once it finishes downloading like that so now that we have forged 1.19.3 the installer we're pretty much ready to start installing forge so what you do is you click right click on it and you click open with and you select java now what happens if you don't have java there or if this icon doesn't show as a little cop right there well that is because you have an outdated version of java or you don't have java at all in your computer now sadly a lot of older computers come with an outdated version of java like my computer for example had java 8 and minecraft 1.19.3 won't run on java 8 so to check your version of java just click where it says type here to search type out of remove programs Go ahead and open add a remove programs and in here you're going to click where it says search this list go ahead and type java and as you can see i have java 17 but for many of you it will be something like java 7 or java 8 and like i said you need at least java 17 to run any newer version of minecraft above 1.16.5 so let's go ahead and get rid of this one real quick let's say that i had java 7 or java 8 like many of you will i'm just going to get rid of it and i'm going to show you how to install the newer java by the way if you already have java 17 18 or 19 you could actually skip this part but i'm still going to show you how to update java just in case you have to so once you have no java at all go ahead and close out of remove programs and go ahead and click on the third link in the description which of course will bring you to our written guide on how to download and update java now in here you could again read through the tutorial but what we're going to do is click in the bottom that says download java here go ahead and find this big red button click on it and that is going to redirect you to the java website where we could actually install java 19 or java 17th now i do recommend that you install 17th because i haven't used java 19th myself so what i'm going to do is just actually use the 17th so go ahead and click on java 17th select windows and then find the x64 installer where you're going to click this blue link right here and that is going to start the download automatically again it's asking me where i want to save it because that's how i have it set up but for most of you it's going to download automatically once you have the file to install java you could go ahead and drop it into the desktop and now we could actually install java so to install java simply double click on jdk 17 it's probably going to ask you for administrator permission go ahead and allow it to run and that is going to bring you to this little menu right here where you're going to click next next and then just wait for this to install let's just wait a little bit it shouldn't take longer than a minute to install java 17 and hey just before we keep going with the tutorial let me tell you real quick about minecraft apex hosting if you want to start a minecraft server apex hosting right now have 25 percent off i have been using apex hosting for a while now and something that i really love about apex hosting besides all the great advantages that they have is that you could access the server console through your phone so you could actually go on your phone and control your server op people kick people do anything that you really want through your phone so yeah guys if you want to start a minecraft server support a channel and have 25 percent off one of the greatest hosting platforms go ahead and click on the first link in the description and let's keep going and then after like 20 seconds it has finally finished install go ahead and click on close and you could even delete the installer for java 17 now guys we need to run the installer for forge now after you install java or after you updated java you could right click on it click open with and click java and it should run without any issues as you can see forge opens without any trouble if you do have any issues 
just run a jar fix. I'm going to add a link in the description. It's going to be the fourth link on how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is really simple. And running a jar fix might fix your jar files that you might be having some issues with, like Forge, for example. This is a jar file. So yeah, if you couldn't open it after updating Java, run a jar fix. That is going to be in the description. It's going to be a short guide. It's like a three step process on how to update your jar files. But anyways, once we have Forge open, we are kind of ready to install it. Make sure that you have run Minecraft 1.19.3 at least once in your computer. So just go to your launcher select the latest release 1.19.3 click play once wait for the game to open and close it completely and also close the launcher as well make sure you completely close the launcher as well as you can see we have the launcher closed and we have the game closed after we run it once and now we are ready to install the game go ahead and click install client we don't want to install a server right now so go ahead and click on ok and this shouldn't be really long this should take like less than a minute as well just like updating java and let's just wait for this to finish like i said let's repeat the process let's repeat the steps so you guys don't get lost first you have to actually have Java 1.19.3 installed and run it at least once in your computer, then completely close and as well as the launcher, go ahead and completely close the launcher, then make sure that your Java is updated. It won't work if you have Java 7 or 8, so you need at least Java 17. And then if Java didn't work after you update it, go ahead and run a jar fix. So that's the steps that we have run so far. Now let's go ahead and click on OK. And we could even get rid of the Forge installer right here because we actually installed Forge properly. Go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. And let's wait for that to load. It actually opened on my second screen. Let me bring it over here. And as you can see, guys, the game is loading right now or the launcher is loading right now. And actually, my Minecraft launcher opened and Forge 1.19.3 wasn't selected automatically, which is actually kind of great because for a lot of you, it won't be selected automatically. Like in my case, I have to click over here and then go to Forge 1.19.3. For a lot of you, though, it will show automatically down here and you're kind of ready to play. You could just click play, play again, and then it will open. Now, if it doesn't show down here after you click on this arrow, like let's say you open the launcher, it was like this latest release and Forge wasn't here. Make sure when you go over to installations that you have modded selected. As you can see, if you don't have modded selected, none of the modded versions of Minecraft will show, of course. So make sure modded is selected. If after you select modded Forge 1.19.3 doesn't show, just click on the installation. And then right here, you can name this whatever you want, like Forge 1.19.3, for example. And then where it says version, scroll down until you find Forge 1.19.3. As you can see right here, it says release 1.19.3 Forge. And then click create on the bottom right. And that is going to create an instance, as you can see down here, of Forge 1.19.3. That is for those of you that Forge won't show after you install it. So anyways, for most of us, it's going to show as soon as we install it. Then we're ready to click play. Click that you understand the risk and then click play again. And that is going to launch Forge. And I'm going to show you where to find the mods folder so you can add mods real quick. OK, guys, so as I was trying to open Forge, it gave me an error. It's giving me this error right here. Let me see if I could show it to you guys. It's saying exit code one. I'm going to show you how to fix that exit code real quick. Just go ahead and click on close. So if you get the error code one, like the one I was getting, just go over here to the launcher, go to installation, find your Forge installation and click on this little folder right here. And then what you have to do is actually delete the mods folder. Just go ahead and delete it because what's happening is that you have some older mods in there that is making your new update incompatible. So let's say that you had like mods from Forge 1.19.1 and now you install Forge 1.19.3. So they are not compatible with each other and it's making your game to crash. Now, if I click play, the game should open without any issues. So let's go ahead and try that right here. I'm not even going to put any cut scenes or anything so you guys could see that this should fix it. So let's go ahead and wait for that to load and it's loading. Hopefully it does open because it's, if it doesn't open, it's going to make me look really stupid and bad. But as you can see, it did work. That is an easy solution. If it's giving you an error code, make sure that you delete the older mods. And as you can see, guys, we're now here in Minecraft 1.19.3. And if you look in the bottom left, it says Forge. So we're in Forge Minecraft. If you want to add mods to Forge Minecraft, go ahead and click on mods and click on open mods folder. That is going to give you the mods folder again, the one that we just deleted in order to update it. And in here, you could drag and drop any mods that you want. Now, if you don't know what mods to use, I recommend looking through my channel. I have a lot of mods or just go to CurseForge. And I'm not a sponsor by CurseForge, but they are my favorite website to download mods from. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, bye bye.